folks, so what we got here is a 2008 Saturn or XR, the 3.6 V6, obviously a GM. Um, we're going to check the transmission fluid. There seems to be some questions as to whether transmission should be overfilled, they should be underfilled, you check them when they're cold, you check them when they're hot, what the fluid levels should be, what the proper procedure is. But this particular vehicle, it actually does have a dipstick for the transmission. So if we pull this out, we just take an initial glance, you see right there it says min and max. It's way past the max. It's almost way over to here. So if this were engine oil, see where it says, see where the little X's are? That's where it's supposed to be. So if this were engine oil, I would tell you absolutely that this thing is overfilled, but that's not how transmissions work. So on this particular car, see it says CHK check hot. So we pulled it out. It looks like it's overfilled. So you're concerned. Maybe my transmission's overfilled, but then it says check hot. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put the dipstick back in here. We're going to start the car, let it run for about 20, 25 minutes, let it get hot. And then I'm going to show you guys the difference in how the fluid looks. Hey folks, so in the first video, I showed you guys how to check the transmission fluid. It was cold and it appeared to be overfilled. Now what we've done was we ran the car for about 20, 25 minutes here in the driveway, let it heat up. So now we're going to go ahead and check it because according to this vehicle manufacturer, they want you to check it when it's hot. You see where it says min max and then you go over here and it's check hot. So we go ahead and we wipe it down, get it so it's nothing on it. Put it back in there one more time. Get it in there, turn it in there nice and tight, let it sit for a second, let me pull it back out. And now what you can see folks is the transmission fluid is nowhere near up as high as it was before. It's basically down about right over here where these three X's are and that represents the operating range. So right now we're on the higher end of the operating range but we're not overfilled like before. So this shows the difference between where the fluid was before when it was cold and to where it's hot. So when you're running it's hot the fluid's all going to be up in the transmission and that's what GM wants you to do. They want to check it hot. So that seems to be the way it is. So check the transmission fluid and what's hot and you should be good. Hi guys, Steve the car guy. What I'm doing is I'm doing a drain and fill of this 2008 Saturn Aura XR transmission. It's the GM 6T70M7U transmission. And this particular transmission has a dipstick where we can fill things in it, and it has a drain plug underneath. So the first thing we do is we have our fluids here. That's the fluid used, and it's gonna be about a five and a half quart drain when we pop out the drain plug. I've already pre-loosened it for the sake of shortening this video. So we go here and we get this drain plug out. We got our pan here. And just like, in this case, it's sort of just like changing your oil, guys. Um, we're going to go ahead, and there we go. Now, the fluid that's coming out is actually pretty nice looking, because I've already gone ahead and done one flush before. And then I'll show you guys a video of the different color of how the fluid was looking before and to how it looks now. And then that'll be the second video that we'll make. We'll show you guys how to close this back up and, and uh, fill it up. It still stops draining. This will probably take about 15 minutes to drain, guys. All right? So we'll see you then. All right, guys. So everything's pretty much drained. It's in the pan here out of the pan to the bucket. So now we're just gonna go ahead and put in the drain plug screw. Look at that. All right guys, so that's basically about five and a half quarts of ATF fluid that we drained out. And then we have our funnel going into where the dipstick goes. And I have basically six quarts here, so it'll be a little bit less than what I have here to refill it. And you just basically, you know, you drained it out from there. It's sort of like filling oil. You make sure it's in there, you see? So I'm not missing anything. You got to get this long funnel. If you don't do the long funnel, then you're going to go ahead and have to wind up taking all this other stuff apart. So I'm not going to bore you guys with the details of pouring in five and a half quarts of this fluid. But we're just basically putting in new fluid where we poured out the old fluid. So, And then you'll start it up and let it warm up for about 25 minutes. And then use your dipstick and check it and see what the fluid level is.